What is up guys, beard trim video is about to start. Hold your freaking britches, okay? But I, 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 I originally wasn't gonna upload this. It was kind of boring and I was like, maybe I won't. But at one point I kind of messed up my beard trim. And so I figured, let's upload this video. So, so if you just watch along, you'll see where I mess it up and then how I kind of explain how to deal with it, right? Anyways, this was just kind of to preface the video. Now let's get into the actual beard trim. Guys, what's up? How you doing? Today's video, I'm gonna kind of take you along with me on a beard trim. Uh, I'll link everything down below that I'm using in the video. This is just going to be kind of a more long format video, not long, but like uninterrupted by edits and shit. The only edit I will show you is right now this is before, and then this is after. All right, so as you can see, my beard needs a pretty decent maintenance trim right now. So if you can see like all this curve out and stuff like that, all that growth that's coming out. Now this is, I just got out of the shower, I just took a shower, let me show you. Um, I use this the Scotch Porter Beard Conditioner to co-wash my beard. And what that is, is basically something, it's a, it's a conditioner and you wash your beard with it in the place of a wash or a shampoo basically. So it will clean your beard without stripping all the natural oils out of it. Which is gonna bring me to my first point when it comes to beard trims. Wash your beard before you trim it. Here's my main school of thought when it comes to beard trims. Uh, now, I used to be the guy that would not trim my beard very much and I would use like styling products in my beard to shape it how I wanted it. Now, I am the opposite way. <coughs> now, I'm the opposite way where I will trim the beard to how I want it to look and then I can use just regular products with no wax or hold in them and come out with a great result. Learning how to trim your own beard is a very worthwhile thing to do in my opinion because you can constantly style your beard however you want to and you don't have to spend 20 bucks every week or two weeks at your beard barber getting lined up and trimmed up whatever. Um, I'm gonna be using these Brio Beardscapes today. These things rock, these kick ass. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of be going like a general outline of what I'm doing. If you want any more in-depth specific things about the things that I'm doing, I have a ton of other videos on my channel about it. If this is your first time to the channel, you can check those out or hit subscribe or whatever. And again, and like I said, I'm gonna link everything below this uh, beard conditioner and these trimmers. These are not necessary. You don't need to buy this to trim your beard. You don't need to have this specific beard trimmer to buy you to trim your beard. You could get one from Walmart. Yeah, it's not gonna be as good. This is like top of the line as far as what I've experienced, but there are cheaper beard trimmers out there. This one is like $65, I believe, so it's a little bit of an investment, um, but it's really cool. It has a, the battery lasts, if you can see there, 180 minutes on full, on full power. It's adjustable, you can do all kind of stuff adjusting it. You have the different guards that come with it. But yeah, it's a really cool trimmer. So let's get into it. My mirror is right here. I'll be looking right here a lot while I'm talking. So just so you know, I'm not ignoring you. So don't freak out. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look here, kind of assess my beard. Now, if you are trimming your beard for the first time and you don't know how to see what you got, here's a little helpful tip. You pull out your phone. Let's go to Instagram, right? Go to your camera app, like you're making a story. And give yourself some room here. You're gonna take your, your selfie camera. You're gonna do this and then just do a 180 around your beard, keeping your head straight the whole time. Like that. Just do a 180 around your beard, keeping your head straight the whole time. So now I can sit there and look at that video and see exactly where my beard needs to be trimmed. And it, it's a really easy, helpful thing to do, especially, and you got a phone. You got a selfie camera on your phone. When you're looking at, when you're looking at yourself in the mirror straight on, you don't see the sides. You don't see the underneath. Um, so there's, utilize what you got. So let's start off. Number one, I'm gonna start with my cheek lines right here. Um, these are, I've been growing these out. I haven't trimmed my beard in like a month, guys. And the cheek line's about two weeks. So I've been growing this out just to do this video to show you guys. So I'm gonna set my brios. Set the focus here. So I'm gonna set my brios to the closest guard. Oh, up one more. Crank them on. And I'm just gonna do a one simple swipe. Now here's now here's a now here's a great example. I just made a tiny mess up. So look at this. You see that little dip right there? It's a little bit of an inconsistency. So this is so this isn't a major mess up by any means, but it is the kind of like the the beginning of a journey down a long road you don't want to go down. Let me explain. Um, whenever somebody will do some like a little, it doesn't. You the general public when I'm walking around, nobody would ever notice this little divot in my beard, but when I'm sitting here staring in the mirror at my beard and I just did that, I'm like, oh crap, how do I fix that, right? And you saw me trying to fix it a little bit and I should have just stopped. 
left it alone. And that's what you should do is just stop and leave it alone. If it's not major like that, if it's something small like that, just stop and leave it alone. Because like I said about the, the long journey down that road you don't want to go down is because guys will then try to fix that and it keeps lowering their line and lowering and, and they keep going down and down and down trying to fix this line or whatever they've messed up and it makes it worse and worse and worse. And you end up with something where you have to shave your beard off. So like right now, that little spot bugs me, right? But in reality, who gives a shit? It's gonna be fine, it's gonna grow back in like two days. Let me trim my other side. Perfect, as expected. Man, I'm excited. I, I'm I'm a little bit excited I caught a mess up on camera. It, it happens once in a while. I just am never filming when it happens. Okay, so cheek lines are trimmed up. You can already tell it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna grab my guard. This is a three millimeter, six millimeter. And I'm gonna put the three millimeter side on, just like that. And now I'm gonna do this technique my an old barber showed me a while back. And it's just literally just taking my trimmers and going down with them like this. To where I'm going like this, down, out. <laughs> Going like this down my beard, it's catching my hair. Um, so what that's gonna do is it's gonna take this fluff off the side and make me look less fat, I guess is what you would say. So here, let me show you. All right, so look at that. You should see a pretty drastic difference here. This side is much lower to the face. You, I still have all the length out I want, but I don't have this big poof out to the side like on this side right here. So I'm gonna do that same exact thing to this side. And what I'm doing, all I'm doing is literally just taking, I have this guard on and I'm just starting at the top and I'm just gonna slowly mark it working my way down just in straight lines. Just like the straight lines down. You don't wanna go all the way against the skin. Just start a little bit out and just take two hairs off every stroke. It doesn't matter. You have time, use it just a little bit at a time because you can always take more off you can't put it back on so i'm gonna do the same thing on this side i'm gonna be looking in the mirror so you probably won't be able to see much of it straight up and down just like this again i'm not going out with it i'm not going in with it i'm just going straight up and down like that and boom look at that now here's before and now here's after after that simple little thing okay so all this stuff is kind of just like a rough outline for what i'm doing i'm just getting a general shape out like that um, so like right now I could um, I could take these hairs down a little bit these hairs here on the side um, and what I would do for that is literally just take a comb and grab it like that and then pull the hairs out you see those hairs pulled out like that and I would just go like this and trim down the comb and that's gonna blend my sideburns better into my long ass beard that's a really cool trick do the same thing for this side I'm gonna look in the camera so you probably won't be able to see me do it I'm gonna look in the mirror. Sorry, I'm not gonna. Sorry, mirror, not camera. We're faded into the beard. Okay, so now guard is off. I'm gonna take a little bit of length off, probably about a centimeter, nothing too crazy. We get this comb, comb everything out so I get a more general shape of what everything's looking like. All right, so let's start taking stuff off. And when I go. When I'm doing, when I'm taking length off, I'm just going straight back like this. Now it keeps catching. I'm just going straight back like this, um, and that's it. It's nothing. Um, it's like, it's like slicing cheese <laughs> with an electric slicer. And the key here is just a little bit at a time, just like the other steps. A little bit at a time, and you're safe. If you start taking big chunks out, then you got problems if you mess up. A little bit at a time if you mess up is not a big deal. And what I do is I try to go for that rounded, like rounded underbeard thing. So when I get to the edge like this, let me see if I can do it. I angle the beard trimmer up a little bit like that so I get the rounded edge underneath. Boom. And that is about perfect length for me. I like that length a lot. So I took a little bit under a centimeter off, if you can see here. I like this length a lot. This is like maybe just a tad bit shorter would be like the perfect length for me. I like this length. It's my comfort zone. I like it. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's easy to maintain. I don't have to wake up and spend 20 minutes every morning trying to get it 
um, tamed and straight and everything like that. So um, now, now that we have the guard off of the trimmers, I'm gonna go in and kind of further refine my sidelines here. Um, again, I'm gonna take this comb, comb everything out so I get a clearer picture of everything. Start with the right side, the one you can't see first. And I'm just going down like I was before um, with that straight down motion. And I'm just kind of further tightening that line in. So it's gonna be a more crisp line. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the difference there, but this was after just the basic um, outline of it. This is after doing it with the no guard. Now this no guard thing is a little bit risky. You gotta be real careful with it. I'm, I'm comfortable with it because I've been doing it a long time and I know what I'm doing, but uh, sometimes you mess up when you have like no guard on there. It's a lot, you're a lot more prone to mess up than you would with a, with a guard on there. So just be careful. Again, guys, it doesn't matter if you're taking off, look, that was one hair. I would sit, I, if you're not comfortable doing this, sit there and take off one hair at a time, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if you wanna keep your beard and you wanna keep it looking good, take a little bit of time, spend a little bit of, have a little bit of patience, spend a little bit of time on, on making it work. So be, just be safe, be careful. Now me, I'm going, I'm just digging in because I know what I'm doing. But if you have to take off two hairs at a time, there's no problem with that. It's your life, it's your beard, do your thing. All right, we're combing everything out again. Okay, so now the only thing left right now, I'm not gonna trim my mustache right now. Maybe, do I have my scissors in here? Yeah, I'll trim a little bit of the mustache. I just trim enough to keep it above my lip line. That's literally all I do. Um, I'm just keeping it above this line. I, I, it drives me crazy when hair gets in my mouth. I, I can't stand it. So um, the only thing left to do is gonna be the backs here like this and this. And I did a video on this. Literally, if you go to a beard barber one time and you have a little bit of vigilance, you can get this trimmed up one time in your life by a beard barber and do it yourself for the rest of your life. Also, this is my friend Zach, back off cyber bullies. Um, but let's talk about this line back here, right? So back here, you're gonna have, if you see that small growth right there, now you should see like a pretty clear defined line between the small growth and the, the actual beard growth. And that's because once I've got lined up by a barber, I take every four or five days I just come in and I just touch up that line a little bit wherever they have done it. Cause if you just keep doing it when it's short, it's really easy to differentiate this hair from the little scrubs there. So I'm gonna do the right side first. Oh, I forgot about the neck. We'll do that here in a second. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this side, and I'm just gonna pull back like this. If you have one of those truck, if you have one of those trifold mirrors, that's gonna help a lot. Or you can just get a just a hand mirror and just shoot it against your mirror so you can get the angle. But I mean, literally just pulling it to, to the front like this should work. You should be able to see it. You can be able to see the the, the short hair growth. That's about right. Okay, so the only thing left is the neck. Now my neckline, that's my neckline right there, if you can see. Um, it's not too, it's not ever too like, I'm not too rigorous about that. And the only thing that I have is like, see this? My neck hair grows into my chest hair if I don't trim this right here. That's the one thing I try to trim for sure. So let's trim that. Okay, so that's trimmed. Now I'll just do a rough kind of outline on my, my underbeard here. Once, once your beard is this long, you don't have to really care that much, but um, if, you're, if, if this is like your first time trimming your beard and you don't know how to do it, don't trim your underbeard with your jawline. Don't make that V um, because, let me just explain something. If you make that V, when people are looking into your beard, there's less density because people are looking into less hair. If you have the hair, under here on this side of your under your jaw like right here that's coming down like this stuff when people are looking through it it adds density to your beard so um it's like looking at a line of trees versus a, a forest so my best advice usually is just go jaw the apex of each of your jaw your jaw muscles your jaw line or whatever just tilt your head up and draw a line straight across to them and just trim there that's an easy way to do it or just like half an inch or an inch above your adam's apple or at your adam's apple it doesn't matter 
Mine's right at about my Adam's apple. Let's trim it. Boom, done. Okay, so let's comb everything out, get a last check in, make sure everything looks good. And it does, I'm gonna take a little bit more length off, just a tad bit. Sorry, I edited that out. I took like another half centimeter off, it was just long and boring. But you get the gist, right? I'm gonna grab some, uh, grab some Royal Beardsman beard butter, been loving this stuff. And I'm gonna throw this in the beard for now. I'll link that down below as well. Um, because when I took a shower, I didn't put anything in after it. You don't want to put products in your beard before you do a beard trim. Never want to do that because if you put products in before your beard trim, that dictates the way your beard looks. Um, not a beard balm is going to be more than like a beard butter or a beard oil. They're not going to have a super impact on how it looks, but oil is going to be a bunch of oil in your beard is not going to be great for your trimmers first of all. Um, but you want to you want a beard that is completely natural without anything in it pretty much besides like your natural oils that way when you trim your beard and it looks the way you want it to look like this looks right now looks great then then when you let's say wake up in the morning you don't have to then take and put a bunch of beard balm or beard wax in your beard to shape it a certain way it's already been shaped by your trimmers so you're not relying on the products for your shape then you can switch to something like a beard butter that's just conditioning and it gives you that nice natural look and it's just conditioning your hair and but it's already in a good shape so those are my beard trimming tips guys if you have any questions throw them in the comments down below i'm not the best at getting back to comments i'll be honest with you hit a like if this helped you out at all and then if this is your first time to the channel, hit subscribe. And I guess that's it. Everything, again, everything will be linked down below. Um, I get a, I get an affiliate commission from Scotch Porter. I get, if I do Amazon stuff, I get an affiliate from Amazon for Amazon sales. Um, but just to be straight up honest with you guys. But yeah, guys, that is all. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay bearded. Bye.